Mysterious lights were spotted Thursday night over Brushy Creek and Cat Hollow. Definitely isn't a plane. This video was sent to Fox 7 by Gus McGiven. He was out walking with his friend Kyle Gomez near Cat Hollow. In real life, when you see it, it's like a lot brighter than, than it actually is. No, he wasn't, right? He wasn't. Gus is a lying bastard. Mesmerizing, honestly. It was so silent. Because if it was one light, then I would have maybe thought, oh, a helicopter, a plane, something like that. But, like, there were so many of them together. Yeah. Also, this chick, Emily, lying her ass off, dumbass. Total lie, man. This is a total lie. This chick is lying. She lying. This is a lie. Chris Lado, welcome to Lado Files. What's up? Welcome to the channel. Chris Lado, retired F-16 pilot turned UAP investigator. I have a fired up video going today. I've always been wondering, who are the idiots? Who are the total moronic dipshits out there who are making fake UFO videos and posting them on the internet as real? And <laughs> I found one of them. Okay, we found definitely one of them, a YouTuber. Here it is, future queen of YouTube. She does all these crazy videos. And here you see Fox News sighting, Fox News alert, UFO sighting. I tricked the world with a fake UFO because I am a moron, is what it should say in there, because I am a moron. <laughs> so let's look at this. Before we get to the video, please don't harass Emily or these other people. Your comments and views will only help her channel. And I mean it when I say life autocorrects for the stuff, so it's not worth creating more negative energy. There is much objective evidence as well. Stick around at the end of the video. I visited the site of the most significant mass UFO sighting I'm aware of anyway, seen and verified by up to 40,000 people and recorded in newspapers. Every year, more than 5 million people visit this site. So stick around to the end of the video to find out what that famous site is. So we actually captured this. This is the Discord, UAP Society Discord. I talked this up a lot. Christy, she uploaded this back uh, beginning of February. Texas UAP, multiple sightings, different locations caught on film. And it has this video, right? Fox 7 Austin, UFO sighting in Round Rock. Let's check this out. Oh my God. Mysterious lights were spotted Thursday night over Brushy Creek and Cat Hollow. Definitely isn't a plane. This video was sent to Fox 7 by Gus McGiven. He was out walking with his friend Kyle Gomez near Cat Hollow. In real life, when you see it, it's like a lot brighter than, than it actually is. And you will realize that your life is going to be riddled with disappointment. Because you, my friend, are an idiot. A total idiot. They are so fixed and, and tight. Some people assume that they're, that's a, a laser. Could a laser do that? But it, it doesn't seem like that there's anything that the lasers are reflecting off of. That's pretty unlikely. So I'm still thinking that this may be someone testing their do-it-yourself drone swarm. A drone swarm is essentially a big light show. They started popping up about two years ago. Drone swarms can fill the sky like these that flew over Shanghai in 2020. Galveston had one for a 4th of July event. In March, at South by Southwest, a drone swarm also generated a lot of buzz. This is what I originally thought too when I saw this video is, could it be high-speed drones? So these high performance drones. So when we saw this video, actually, uh, I started asking my friends if they knew about high performance drones and could they investigate it, right? Turns out it was all CGI by this little, whatever, teenager, Emily. All right, but thank you to Perfect Ride Life. Again, this is what, what it matters, right? Because there are total idiots like this, like this chick out there who basically just explaining how she did it, right? This is your Fox 7 News. That's me, Emily White. My name's actually Ellie, if, if you didn't know. And look, my mom on the TV. And this is the story of how I fooled America with a fake UFO. I know what I saw. Now, Americans... 
Now, Americans are always claiming they've seen aliens. But I think it's just fake news spread by the media. So today we're going to make our own fake UFO go viral to prove my theory. But in order to make our fake UFO convincing, we must first learn what a real one looks like. So to get some intel, I booked to go UFO hunting with some experts. This is the thing that, that blew me away when I first started learning about this stuff. Look at how... This is her, her whole hypothesis, right? Is that Americans are always saying they, they see UFOs. So she's going to go and fake a UFO. She's going to call all the news, right? She's going to call the news in LA, which doesn't work, right? They immediately say, hey, it's, we think it's drones or it's fake. They get a lot of calls out there. But then she goes to the middle of Texas and turns out middle of, I'm from Texas. Actually, we believe people call it a fault of us, but we believe you. How they can disguise themselves like this. You know, think it's a six balloon. It'll morph right into this. So you don't think that that is like a balloon like popping? Absolutely not. How do you walk out of a balloon store with that? As you can see, I was very confused. These guys had spent 10 years filling a folder with balloons. <laughs> I mean, I mean aliens. Robert Bingham, he, he has names for each thing. I have a little alien that follows me. It's a shapeshifter. It's a bird. But all these sightings were from one mysterious man. Robert Bingham catches more of the shiny ones and things like that. Who was he? And why did everyone believe him? I have... I do kind of agree this. Agree with this. You know, she, if, if all of our data comes from one source, you could just have one source that is fraudulent or incorrect. Right? If you look, when we, the U.S. at least, invaded Iraq, the data that came from that weapons of mass destruction, right? Well, it actually only came from one source. One analyst said they had weapons of mass destruction, but what happened is it spread, spread through the government. And based on their classification issues, it was difficult to tell that it all came from the same source. So if you have, you know, you hear from a bu bunch of different places, the same information, it, it can lead you to believe that there's many sources for that information, right? When in fact, it could only be one source. At least she's being honest and open, right? And so she's going to say how they did it. She filmed it, videoed it. So this is how you would fake a UFO. Okay, let's watch it. What a real UFO looks like. We have the knowledge to fool the news. So first we need eyewitness accounts. I've come to the pier at Santa Monica in the hopes that I can get some crazy alien reactions. I was wondering whether you'd be able to help out and just all point your phones in the sky and act like you've seen a crazy light. Oh, oh, what? Oh, what? <laughs> what is that? What is that? There's a UFO. And second, a talented VFX artist to put our UFO in the sky. And he did an incredible job. Wow. Shout out to my man Keetan from Fiverr for helping. So the plan is to get a bunch of my friends to call the news all at once. And tell them about their scary experience. Oh. The main Los Angeles news site is who we're targeting. So let's see if this works. I just saw something pretty crazy out at the Santa Monica boardwalk. No, you didn't, you lying bastard. You idiot. Calling into the news and saying you saw something you didn't. You're a moron. You are a moron, my friend. Weird lights. I just haven't seen anything like that before. I don't know if it was moron. like a weird ass UFO sighting or what, but. I, I did think it's alien. I don't believe in aliens. Moron. Yeah, we do have photo. Send an email for Lying moron. And everything seemed to be working. They even so emailed funny. and requested if they could use the footage. Until my friend Sam called in 30 minutes later. It looks like a, like a drone. Yeah, I was here. It does person. look like a drone. It looks pretty weird. No, you don't present a drone. Well, at least I know I'm not going crazy. These bastards. No, you're just an idiot. Stuff. I think we're just going to wait till the morning, see if they do any reports on it. Maybe Bingham was right. What if this was karma? These people. So they were upset here where their fake UFO call-ins just didn't work, right? So look what she says. They have to go to a place which is more gullible. They go to a place more gullible. Like yeah. Now California's too smart for us. Plus the movie industry's here. There's weird lights in the sky all the time. So we need to target a place so crazy they can't help but fall for it. Yeehaw! But before we spam call Fox News Texas, I hired Keetan again to edit the footage even crazier. And if you want to avoid getting scammed online, then you need- Because you know who's all about scamming? Scammers. Scammers know all about scamming. Safe and encrypted. <laughs> Sign up for Aura today. Using my link, you'll be able to get a 14-day free trial. Get yourself that bargain. Back to the video. I mean, I do respect her YouTuberiness and that she obviously doesn't care about anything that she posts online. I do respect this, but I do have to say she's an idiot. So it's
it's time to call Fox News once again, but this time in Texas. You're like the sixth person to call us. Really? Is that like a UFO or something? We're not alone out there, as they Jesus. Think. I do have a video, yes. Definitely take a look so we can find out. And this guy, he even looks like he's from Texas. Are you? Zero integrity? You sounded like a little bit excited. Oh, yeah, this, might, this might be good. I just got a text message off Fox News saying they want to do an interview with me about last night. <laughs> We're gonna be at the news. And after I love she's happy about being on the news for lying. About causing all these people to like, like everyone to go and look at UFOs. Weeks of attempts, failures, and balloon hunting. It was finally time to prank the world and prove fake news is real. Give me your name again and who are you? Yeah, so my name is Emily White. I can't believe we are being interviewed by Fox News. This is not I can. I mean, it turns out if you lie and you're a scammer, you can get on the news. Turns out if you are an idiot and you have zero integrity, you can get on the news. If you want to create these things, just to cause pandemonium and misinformation and disinformation, you can probably get on the news. But guess what's gonna happen? I promise, it's going to come back. It's going to come back to you because there's something in this world called karma. I've seen it, I've seen it happen. You're gonna live your life like a dirt bag. You're gonna <laughs> do these things without care of what other people think. You're gonna call misinformation, you're gonna create fake UFO videos and then try and get other people to believe you and you think this is not gonna have any negative repercussions in your life, you are a moron and you'll be taught. Good thing about life is it teaches it's either the hard way or the easy way. National news. Back for me again, were y'all you, you just out walking about? Yeah, I looked up in the sky and I, I could see these really like strange lights. And another Texas news site asked for an interview. Back in the UK, we kind of know like America to have a lot of these alien sightings. So it's a joke about the Americans maybe possibly seeing all these kinds of weird things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that a mission success? <laughs> oh my God, Gavin! <laughs> But Fox really wanted an in-person interview with one of the witnesses. And we were in California. I wonder if you know anyone out in Texas that could go. And it- Yay! You did it. Thank you so much for wasting our time. Good news is we did see, did learn about it. So there are, these are fake videos out there, man. And there are total morons all over the place. And they can access the internet from everywhere. There are actual sightings out there. I visited the site of the most significant verified mass UFO sighting that I'm aware of. The Vatican interrogated the three kids who saw this sighting at Fatima, the miracle of the sun. So this is an example when three kids saw a real UFO sighting, as far as we know, because 40,000 people came and confirmed it. The story gets interesting after that. There was three secrets. So over 100 years ago by this oak tree three shepherd kids saw an apparition that appeared to them and said telepathically that they were mother mary so it's quite an interesting story because the townspeople didn't believe the kids obviously so they said oh you're lying so the kids said oh really you don't believe us well she said come back next sunday and so they said come back and said come by an apparition will show them something crazy so 40,000 people essentially came to this location and saw the sun do some crazy maneuvers. It's a miracle of the sun is what they called it. This is a quote from Manuel Formajau, a professor at the seminary at Santarem and a priest. As if like a bolt from the blue, the clouds were wrenched apart and the sun at its zenith appeared in all its splendor. It began to revolve vertiginously on its axis like the most magnificent fire wheel that could be imagined, taking on all the colors of the rainbow and sending forth multicolored flashes of light, producing the most astounding effect. This sublime and incomparable spectacle, which was repeated three distinct times, lasted for about 10 minutes. The immense multitude, overcome by the evidence of such a tremendous prodigy, threw themselves on their knees. So interesting, many different claims of the sun moving. This is from Domingos Pinto Coelho, writing for the Catholic newspaper Ordain. The sun, at one moment surrounded with scarlet flame, at another aureoled in yellow and deep purple, seemed to be in an exceedingly swift and whirling movement, 
at times appearing to be loosened from the sky and to be approaching the earth, strongly radiating heat. So the apparition appeared to the three kids in 1917, a total of six times, was called Our Lady of Fatima. Ended up being the Lady Mary is what they referred to it. She gave three secrets, three creepy secrets. The first secret, the Mother Mary, so the apparition, Our Lady of Fatima, she said the first secret was the earth. She waved her hands and they could see, the kids could see through the earth and they saw fire and brimstone and beings down there. Basically they saw hell. Okay, the second secret was about Russia. Russia needed to be consecrated um, or it would continue to be evil and spread its terrible ways throughout the world. So Russia needed to end the war essentially or there'd be further wars, which ended up being further wars. And then the third secret, the third secret was caused a lot of issues because she did not share it. So Santa Lucia did not want to share the third secret. They made her write it down and it was shared either after her death or 1960, whichever came first. The third secret basically tells a story of the priests and leaders of the church walking up to this tall mountain. They're tired, they get to the very top of the mountain and then there's a giant cross there similar, similar to this one. Here we go, the third crazy secret of Fatima. The third part of the secret revealed at the Cova de Iria Fatima on 13 July 1917. This is from the letter from Santa Lucia. I write in obedience to you, my God, who command me to do so through His Excellency, the Bishop of Laeda, and through your most holy mother and mine. After the two parts, which I have already explained, at the left of Our Lady and a little above, we saw an angel with a flaming sword in his left hand, flashing. It gave out flames that looked as though they would set the world on fire, but they died out in contact with the splendor that Our Lady radiated towards him from her right hand. Pointing to the earth with his right hand, the angel cried out in a loud voice, Penance! 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 And we saw an immense light that is God, something similar to how people appear in a mirror when they pass in front of it, a bishop dressed in white. We had the impression that it was the Holy Father. Other bishops, priests, men, and women, religious, going up a steep mountain, at the top of which there was a big cross of rough-honed trunks, as of a cork tree with the bark. Before reaching there, the Holy Father passed through a big city, half in ruins and half trembling with halting step, afflicted with pain and sorrow. He prayed for the souls of the corpses he met on his way. Having reached the top of the mountain on his knees at the foot of the big cross, he was killed by a group of soldiers who fired bullets and arrows at him. And in the same way there died one after another the other bishops, priests, men, and women, religious, and various lay people of different ranks and positions. Beneath the two arms of the cross there were two angels, each with a crystal aspersorium in his hand, in which they gathered up the blood of the martyrs, and with it sprinkled the souls that were making their way to God. Yours truly, Santa Lucia. Creepy story. That was the three secrets, and thousands and thousands of people come here every year to do their pilgrimage. So UAP events have been happening for many years. This thing happened over a hundred years ago and they called it a religious event. Ended up in 1930, Our Lady Fatima was put into canon. It was approved by the Catholic Church as a miracle. Happened here. So was it when 40,000 people were here looking up and saw a miracle of the sun? So what do you guys think? What's your take on this? Were you fooled by that? Did you, do you remember seeing that video? And you're actually fooled by this little girl and her friends from wherever, who cares? Let me know in the comments. I had to put a video out, I was fired up. Please hit that like button. Share this, man, so we can share it, get the info out about these fake videos, get people thinking a little bit more. Come to the UAP Society, our Discord. You saw there, this is where we're looking at videos like this highlighting and debunking these morons out there because we actually want to find the truth. So thanks for being here, everybody. Smash that like button. Subscribe for future videos. I'll release a video every Friday. You can support the channel at patreon.com forward slash Chris Lato and you will get backstage access 
and exclusive videos. Like I said, come to UAP Society Discord and join us. Root out these idiots. Thanks for being here, everybody. And I hope she has a very successful and happy life. Peace.